Today is the last day of the year and we're coming to a new year and I said why not try to squeeze another video in before the year ends. So um, my last video yard is filled with cacti, uh, my back, the side, I have plants everywhere and I love it. I love every single thing about plants. It's just, plant community is just so amazing too. The thing why it drove me into here, I've watched many, many videos here on YouTube talking about plants, um, you know, and I said, why not, you know, my bedroom. Um, and I can eventually do a video tour of my whole house and my different plants that I have a good thing for me. Um, I love rescuing plants. I love rescuing plants from the dumpster. It's, it's, every plants that are, people will throw away and there's nothing wrong with them and I'll get it and revive it and make, you know, bring it back to life and uh, it's just awesome. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Like I said, it's, you know, the end of the new year and I said, why not make a video on, you know, creating more plants in the new year without spending money um so one of the many great things about plants is that you can reproduce plants very very easily um, and one of the methods is called propagation so propagation is the method of just cutting up the plants from a mother plant and making um them into little babies uh, you can do these with plants cacti succulents Pretty much any plant you can pretty much cut up and make multiply make more um, this is another example of uh, money and uh, I propped it I put it in the dirt and it started growing and now it's giving me more babies so I love it it's like I said it's a, a great way a cheap way to multiply your plants if you don't have money um, or if you're just trying to save up, you know, you, you, I've, I can't count how much money I have spent on plants that have died, that literally the next week it died, or in two months it died, literally six months it died. I bought a, a variegated string of hearts, $80, and it died two months later. It was like the saddest thing. And now I have a few with uh, my propagation video. Um, so Amazon sells uh, propagation stations and this is one I got from Amazon. I'll start from the most expensive to just anything that you can find around your house. So this is an example of one. I think this is like around $15, which isn't bad. Um, so right here I kind of have a string of dolphins that's just been kind of hanging out this is I have this by my window so it gets really good light in the afternoon and um, I'm gonna just go ahead and show you guys make sure you guys use clean sterile scissors I already have these clean and we're just gonna go ahead and use the one that I have by my window and we're gonna carefully just go ahead and prop these Honestly, I'm going to just go ahead and grab the one that is kind of dying. And I'm going to just kind of prop them right there. I'm going to just kind of cut right there. And you always kind of want to do in between. I don't know if you can see. I kind of have it right there. I'm going to just go ahead and cut that. Okay. So these are two cuttings. Um, I have some cuttings right here. String of silver glory. Sorry, I'm like horrible. But um, yeah, I just pretty much chopped this. I will go ahead and try to edit it in this video. And you literally just stick it into a glass vase, a glass cup. So we can kind of revive this plant. And as you see, I got a cutting. One that I got. Up whatever you guys have around your house. I literally got this at the Dollar Tree. It was literally a dollar. Another example 
that I have of a propagation kind of little station. This is a string of tears. It's honestly one of the things I like about a string of things is that they propagate really easily. And then this is, if you remember my first video that, or I think it was my second video, it was a Monstera and I went ahead and propagated it and it's been, this is literally six months of it living in um, water, propagation water. So this is what six months of propagation living in water does to a, a plant, which is pretty awesome. It's I changed the water a couple of times, um, changing it once every three weeks or something. And I know people thrive in that. And um, I know peace lilies are a big hit in habit and bases and it looks really really awesome so um yeah and this is another example of that this money tree plant it's super easy to propagate it's literally the best but let me just show you guys really quickly on how you can just literally take a snip of a plant and just put it in a vase i will do it really quickly for you guys let me see what plant i can get oh i can get this one so I kind of have this one living in spag, spag of moss, which I need to water. So it's really, really awesome. It's pretty much anywhere where it's going to have a node. And if you don't know what nodes are, there are these little bulbs, not bulbs, but these kind of, um, they're pretty much what you want to stick in dirt or water. Um, when you're propagating or when uh, they're growing in the dirt and that's how they pretty much like keep growing and stuff and nodes so that's what we're gonna do and I, I have you can you know whoop, make sure but as you can see I have two of them hopefully my camera focuses And it's super easy you guys all you do I already filled up a water with base all you do is literally just stick it in there and that's it that is literally it that's how you create multiple plants and it's literally amazing I really like how um, it just gives a vibe to the room and stuff and it looks really really awesome but yeah so this one back before I forget but yeah, let me know what other video you guys would want me to record, what other plants you guys want to see. Um, make sure you go ahead and give my thumbs up. Let me know what you liked. And yeah, thank you so much for watching my... I'm here to, you know, make friends here in the community of the plant community, YouTube community. But yeah, you guys, thank you so much. Have a great New Year's and I will see you guys next year.